Also, uh, freezing Tyner, then again, he, they could obviously play Pale Cascade and pump it up, so I uh, don't want to take too much damage. Okay, the last time we versed Ken and Ari, the strategy of Iceborne Legacy onto um, Spiders was really good. However, I'm not too sure if I keep Brood Awakening. Because that is kind of slow. Well, let's experiment though. Let's see what happens if we keep exactly this hand. And see what kind of work we can get done. Okay, the hand just got a lot better. <clears throat> Yeah, so the way to beat Kanari is play fast. Beat their ass. I know what lurks in the shadows. Wild hearts should run free. Catch me if you can. Correct block. There's no way you don't block there. What? I think instead of falling into the bait of trying to Vile Feast this Dancing Droplet, we're just gonna block like this, play Coin Sensation, and then like... What the heck do you do? I guess you have to notify this, right? I need mana for Iceborne Legacy next turn, correct? So we can't play anything there? This was a premium in hand for winning fast. Brood's a refill. Let me change into something more Bruh. comfortable. So I think in this spot we do need to pre-commit the Iceborne Legacy. Because otherwise, let's like if I just attack like this, right? They just let it go through because they know we play Iceborne Legacy. So um pre-commit. And make sure we trade with the attack face with the pretty spiders. Plan is to survive next turn and we should be being chilling. Survive next turn and we should be being chilling. Don't think we play Aristocrat here. Bing chilling. Eyes open. Watch your branches. Save Skidder for next turn. Okay, this seems like a reasonable spot to consider playing Vile Feast. Force him to play uh, Recall. It's actually not too bad at all. Oh wait. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine. Get him to spend mana. Anything's good. Oh my. Bing chilling spiders. I'm trying to think of what kind of punishes there are for playing frenzied Skidera. And I really don't think there is any. You could flip cannon, but this is, this is chill. What do you do, homecoming Elise? Let's go! Later, Kenan. 
Uh, the card choices are good. Good card choices. You don't want to be- you don't want to try and be too cute with the deck. You want decks to still play solid cards and then experiment with new stuff. Ah, uh, this is um, just uh, yeah. Ah, uh, Kindred's probably gonna be pretty low impact, I think. We have Vile into Kindred, Iceborn Legacy, we probably don't keep it. Turn 3, Skidra. We're playing on the offensive. <clears throat> Ah, oh, this is good. This is very good. Lady Elise, where are you? I must get out of here. We'll take the pass here. Did we just kill the goat for your gems? Next turn is awkward. Without a gem target, it's very awkward for them to actually use it, so... I think we just kill the goat. Come closer. I don't bite. your own light within the darkness so we can go diner into pale to open gem i think we want to play around pale here but to be fair you could do it next turn or we can answer back with fury of the north This is going to be- I, I just don't want to walk into Pale Cascade here. I don't want to give him card draw either, but he's probably going to get it regardless. We could also freeze and play Vile Feast instead. And flip Elise, that might actually be a little bit better. Oh no, we can't play both, sorry. Blocking here doesn't actually do anything, does it? Uh, little uh, girl Mima. Thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Alright, at least you've done your job. You know, faint! 19 months! Holy shit! What's good, brother? How are you? You reach Masters yet? So young. Vice, you brought the trundle skin? Ah, okay, fair enough. A new moon rises. Lunari Priestess. Hit Masters earlier today. Let's go! Let's go, man! Thanks for 19 months, by the way. I don't think I've been able to pop into your stream for quite some time, but I know I'm still subbed. I know I'm still subbed. I just haven't posted it. So it should be 19 months as well. That's fat. Bing chilling. I'm thinking he's gonna play Nocturne. We should file feast here. Hail? Mm -hmm. Moonlight guide me.
It was easy to drop in when I was doing 1am streams, correct. That frenzied skitter, I fucked him over so hard. They will all scream as one. It's like we're not in a fantastic spot, but we're getting some work done. So we can play one unit and reduce the attack of all my guys to three attack, but that's fine. Vengeance, that's a draw. I know you. He was playing Atrocity as well. Spooky. Wow, what a draw. Well, we do play Triple Vengeance, so it's not the most shocking draw, but it's very damn good there. Very damn good there. The only other thing I could have considered was instead of holding up mana for... Okay, instead of holding up mana for the Entomb, I was considering playing Kindred, but it gets punished by one more development and we definitely lose. We would definitely lose at that point. Uh, thank you for the follow, MWCL. I appreciate that. Hope you're having a good day. It uh, doesn't look like he's playing. Uh, doesn't look like he's playing go hard, so that's good. I think. That 
the egg. Did it move? I must get out of here. A uh, deck list? I haven't got the deck list anywhere right now. There's nothing to fear. But I can share it. We want to open attack here because he plays fierce and blockers this turn, right? Playing the box. Embrace life. That's pretty death. sus. Next turn's looking pretty nutty. We've made the most of you. Uh, seven nine five. Another rate of seventeen. What's up, man? How are you? Thank you for the follow, Doctor Octob Oct. Doc Ock, thank you for the follow, man. Might see a Spirits Refuge here. You can see a lot of different tools. Boo. Hello. I'm going good, man. I'm going good. How was stream? Oh, just a vengeance? Luckily we attacked in a good order here. And didn't swing certain ways. Okay, that's fine. Don't pull 1-1? One, one. No. I want to contest board, honestly. Might seem a bit sus at first, but... I do like contesting. Uh, Pivo Korkor, thank you for following, man. Hope you're having a good day. I appreciate that. That's not very useful, is it? Hello, Boosty. How are you? Nothing escapes my watch. Here comes Hydra Bean, no doubt. Yeah, new board, new board. Sleep is for the guilty. Yeah, the U two seven nine five. Thank you for the raid once again. That's very ironic.
I guess we don't need to attack. I'm happy just to chill and steal his uh, kindred. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm doing okay, thanks, mate. Hope you are too. Yeah, I'm doing good. We were winning some games with uh, Howling Abyss, so that's pretty cool. Oh, we kill it. Even better! Even better! <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, this looks good. What's he playing? Uh, Riven Draven. So he's probably playing survival skills without a doubt. How many survival skills are you playing? We'll find out soon. There's nothing to fear. Yeah, dude, Viego was absolutely an insane hit from uh, Howling Abyss. The impact of a flip Viego was very strong. Did you build this deck? I kind of threw it together. I got some ideas from here and there. Anything else? <laughs> but yeah, I mostly, I mostly thought of some ideas. That's a lot happening, yeah. I think I like that. I like that it has a lot happening, to be honest. It's kind of just like Spider's early game beat down. Very good, like, at least it's still a very good control tool because of the sheer amount of value it can bring. Into Howling Abyss or Atrocity Kindred. The party has arrived. I do like all the options that we have. So we could be on Whirling Death for sure. So I guess the best play I can make is to honestly just chill. We file feast here. See if we force out to get excited. Noxian, I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. You'll serve me, one way or another. My Can you please show us the Elise Carter? Absolutely. So that's her flipped form. Looks pretty cool. That's her regular form. And the spiderlings also get a artwork. Sorry if I did that too quickly. Cute. Yeah, it'd be nice if like, if you played Elise, every Spiderling had it. That would be pretty cool. Let's do this. Oh, we drew Iceborne. That's pretty pog. So we block with the ugly spiderlings, right? We we'll probably block here as well. I vibe with this music, so do I. I like the, I'm really enjoying this new board's music, to be honest. Six mana vengeance, Pog. Later, uh, Elise. Double Vile Feast? Sure. I 
Iceborne is going to be meta-defining. All of a sudden, Freehold can swarm. Freehold can swarm. Hey, let's go three and one. Hello. Uh, this is more than likely the Poro deck, right? We'll probably need Kindred to win this game. And we need to clear Daring Poros as much as we can early. <clears throat> I pull the strings. I've noticed that the Elise skin, I'm not sure if it's a skin, but there's always a constant delay with summoning the Spiderling. Summoning the Spiderling. been that way since the last patch, has it? I haven't really played Elise at all for quite some time, so I guess that makes sense. These old eyes still see far and clear. Alright, we're gonna need Kindred to carry this game. We do have atrocity in hand, so there's always a chance we could uh, win quite hard and early. What have Poros done to you? I do play the box in this deck. Unfortunately, we don't have it here. So he can potentially go double daring Poro. Or something like this. Come closer. I don't bite. I think that's fine. Oh, don't have a mystic here, please. I should have been more greedy with the glimpse. Uh, less greedy. But I was hoping that if I glimpsed it, we'd maybe find Crawling Sensation. And we did. So, yeah, I think we just win now. I think we just go face with the Elise and stuff. My true beauty. We can use Iceborne Legacy in more ways than just seeing the spiders here. Tear them apart. It's risky, but I think it's correct to do it this way. If he does anything, I could always resort to Iceborne Legacy. Onto my Spiderlings. Yeah, this looks about right. So flipping Elise there was nuts. Drawing exactly Crawling Sensation was nuts as well. We do play five in the deck if we count multiple Elises. This could be a mystic shot onto the spiderling, if that's the case. We just go for Iceborne Legacy. Yo, we the people! Here? Yeah. 
Thank you for the raid, man. How you going? Is it better for me just to... Hang on, is there a way to guarantee lethal? There is. This plays around double mystic. Yo, what's poppin', man? How are you? So we use Iceborne Legacy on the Spider, uh, the Elise. It was just safer to guarantee lethal this turn. Now, uh, stream's going great, man. Playing some spiders. And uh, surprisingly, haven't lost too much LP yet, so I'm very happy. Well, Loomis has gone in a bit of a climb. He must be farming all the people playing bad decks. Uh, C7 or C Sean. Thank you for the follow, by the way. I appreciate that. I mean, Sundisk isn't trash. Well, that's a hot topic. What makes you say that? Maybe the strategy against Ken and Ari is to just go full beat down and forget less about the control and more about the There's smacking, smacking my opponent's ass. Think you're fast? Cute. Do you think he blocks the spiderling? And do I summon the crawling sensation? Close. I think we always do this. I like showing people the movie. <laughs> True, the movie. You got advanced screening or what? Midnight release? Oh, we're going full beat down. Okay, so hear me out guys. We could play around recall, right? And we could vile feast our own Elise at the cost of tanking a lot of damage. Alternatively, I could vile feast into the blade twirler and if he wants to, he can retreat it. However, we get to flip the lease into frenzied skitterer. So I'll go for that. I'm going to see if he actually retreats this. A tribute to the spider god. Underestimate. I dare you. If we <laughs> wait, if if we block with that, we uh, at least dies. We can't block Blade Twirler there. That's crazy. It's a 1 2, but as soon as he recalls something, Blade Twirler gets a uh, plus 2. So if you read this. No, 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 hang on. Are we, are we, are we, are we losing our minds here? He had double Mond on the field. When they strike, this gets plus 2. That trades into Elise. I don't think that's worth it. Um, okay, is it better to go for Iceborne Legacy here? Or Frenzied Skidera? We have uh, three sisters if things go to wrong. This isn't pushing as much damage as Iceborne Legacy, to be honest. Frenzied can be used defensively as well. That's a good, that's all good knock. damage. So we just gotta survive this turn. We have access to three sisters. Stack natural. I got you. I 
I think we just play Skidder right here. I don't have to be scared of Absolver anymore. The forest strikes. Pick on someone your own speed. Here's our chance. Preage, no nobify. He didn't have no. Okay, surely it's a lethal here. Looks good. He can go twin or concussive. He needs to deal with uh, two threats right now, doesn't he? GG. Let's go, Ice Pawns. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's go, Ice Pawn Spiders. She. <laughs> I've been losing my voice. Sawyer has took down a 700 LP Kenanari abuser. That's pretty good. Wow, man, I tried playing TK Soraka and it went pretty bad. So I come to you, disgraced to ask for assistance. Uh, Samoha, 17. Uh, the only assistance I can offer you, like, to be honest, it, this is not the best uh, metas ex uh, pa uh, patch or expansion for TK Soraka at the moment. So um, don't feel too bad if you're losing games with it. It's honestly going to be very common. Elowens, we love to face each other all the time. All right, hands looking cool. I pull the string. Yo, Tyler, what's up, man? Thank you for the follow. Hey, yo, what's new? What's up, Matt? How are you? Not much, man. Just uh, honestly having a pretty good experience so far with Iceborn Elise. What's going on with you, man? I'm pretty sure we always trade off a lease in that situation. The party has arrived. That egg. Wait, this is much better. Watch and learn. I thought about playing Vile Feast there, but then I realized, wow, I can just play my Aristocrat. He is incentivized to attack to get axes, and then I can just go Iceborne Legacy and just press A and swing all and attack my friend. Yeah, I went 7-3 with Iceborne at least. Pog, what was your secondary champion, G'day Rune Terror? You're up to sniff. How's it going, man? Thank you for the follow. Was it, and if there was a second champion, what was it? Ouch. Time to die. Into a willing death here? That would be nuts. This is gonna hurt for you. I'm disappointed the skin doesn't apply to all spiders. I mean, honestly, it does sound like a good idea, but there's probably some coding. Like, it might not be as simple as you'd hope it would be. Like, I'm sure it it sounds easy to just kind of, like, want it to be all spiders, and I think that would be really cool. But maybe it's a little bit harder than we think. So, uh, hopefully, it just, like, jams Rumble here or something. It was Hecarim. Okay. Maybe don't fail me that now. sounds cool. Working as intended. I think we're just going to, um... Honestly... Feeling like we're just gonna vile feast here. 
We could have waited, but I don't, for the off chance that maybe he ends the turn, I don't want to risk it. Obviously, we could have got a little bit more healing, but whatever. We have access to Iceborne Legacy next turn and a flipped Elise, so that's very good. Let me change into something more comfortable. Uh, but it's a flex slot, so you can have Calista, Thresh, Sedge, EC. Yeah, I think you can have whatever. Even Kindred. I'm actually going to develop this turn, to be honest. No, we're not. I don't know. I think we should be developing. What's the punish? Uh, There's not much punish. He could get excited, Elise. But we have, um, yeah, we have three sisters for that. Uh, developing is just safer, I feel. Obviously, now he can play a unit that has a potential fearsome block, but we can just drag it with friends and Skidera, still accessing Iceborne Legacy onto the Spiderlings to push significant damage. So he should, I'm surprised he's actually blocking Elise. I think it unironically might be correct to block the Spiderlings. However, how much of a difference will it really make here? It's pretty insignificant, I think. Good morning, dude firework, how are you? For some reason, the eye stops working with level Elise sometimes. Maybe it has problems with her aura buff for spiders. Actually, don't know. We'll keep an eye out for it and see if it comes up again. A pip! 67. Thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate that. 